Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, well, we're going to hit somebody who's kind of old, kind of, yeah, I mean, still doing music. And I want to see if he's got anything to offer. I like Nick Lowe. You can see from the thumbnail, that's what we're doing. And not counting his uh, Christmas album that he did, it's been 13 years since he put anything out. Now, he was real cutting edge when he came out, and he's got a history of a record producer. He's born in 1949, I think, so that would make him 75 years old. So, yeah, but he's still... This album with low straight jackets is getting really good reviews. This is a short song, less than three minutes, called Let's Have a Party. And I'm sure it's going to be, I would imagine with a title like that, it's based in 50s rock and roll, I'm guessing. But I have no idea. I have not done a lyric dive. I figure the lyrics will be simple. We'll figure them out. He usually enunciates pretty well. And um, wasn't he Johnny Cash's... step son or something like that yeah anyway he's an interesting guy but let's go ahead and hit this up and uh see what it's like hit that like or subscribe button it really helps got a patreon page below too and uh anyway you can help me out it's appreciated let's go yeah Sweet and simple. Um, yeah, I got mixed opinions about it. So, uh, you know, it's nothing new, right? It's a throwback. It's retro. And it's uh, 60s. It's got that 60s surf guitar in it. And it's just a classic pop song. And it's 
Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it sounds not production wise, but composition wise, sounds like something right out of the '60s, and it's played really well. Um, I think the disappointment is the the vocals are a little diminished. Um, he's not quite the singer that he used to be. So I, I got to knock it down a little bit for that. I also had trouble understanding all the words, um, combination of singing and vocal production. But yeah, I liked the band. I liked the playing. It was real good. And yeah, so my understanding is if you listen to the whole album, I read a review of Indoor Safari, and there's a lot of different styles. So apparently when you spin the whole album, it's a lot of fun to go through, and he's got different uh, styles. But he can be real acerbic, if that's the right word, you know, kind of biting lyrics. And this is just a fun song, almost a throwaway, really. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a B. Yeah, I'm a big Nick Lowe fan, but, you know, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Nothing special. And uh, definitely not anything new totally retro but i wanted to see because you know sometimes he surprises and he does some different kinds of things so uh this this predates you know he was a punker and a pub rocker and he was so cutting edge in the late 70s and early 80s and this is going way back to his roots probably to the music that he listened to when he was a teenager Mm, so it's a nostalgia trip. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>